In a world shaped by globalization and cultural exchange, the boundaries between different societies and traditions have become increasingly porous. The dynamic interplay of diverse cultures has given rise to the fascinating phenomenon of syncretism, a process through which various cultural elements converge and blend to create novel and hybrid expressions. Yet, alongside this progressive fusion lies the steadfast anchor of heritage, representing cherished customs, beliefs, and practices passed down through generations, serving as a bedrock of identity for communities around the globe. With these basic principles in play, two significant questions must be asked. How do societies navigate the delicate balance between embracing change and safeguarding the essence of their heritage? Can syncretism serve as a catalyst for cultural renewal enriching heritage with new perspectives and vitality? As we embark on this intellectual odyssey, we aim to deepen our understanding of the profound forces that shape the fabric of human culture and identity through the practice of syncretism. Syncretism at its core is a process in which diverse cultural elements, beliefs or practices merge and coalesce to form a new and unique expression. It occurs when different cultures interact, resulting in a blending of traditions, rituals and values. The core principle of syncretism lies in the fusion of ideas where elements from various sources come together to create something novel. Whenever I think of syncretism, I think of a fascinating concept born from movement and friction. Movement refers to the migration, while friction refers to colonization and globalization. Migration has long been a catalyst for syncretism. When people move from one region to another, they bring their traditions, beliefs, and languages. As they interact with new cultures, a natural exchange occurs, leading to syncretism. This process is evident in the fusion of culinary traditions, the adaptation of linguistic expressions, and the incorporation of diverse religious beliefs in migrant communities. Colonialism profoundly influenced syncretism. Colonizers imposed their culture, religion, and language on indigenous populations globally. This often led to forced syncretism, where elements of both colonizers and the colonized cultures blended. Religious syncretism, language shifts, and the integration of colonial practices into indigenous traditions are examples of how colonization shapes syncretic phenomena. Globalization as a contemporary phenomenon builds upon the historical legacies of colonization. In today's interconnected world, globalization facilitates the rapid exchange of ideas, technologies, and cultures across borders. This has resulted in syncretism in various forms, from hybrid culinary creations to fusion of musical genres. The globalization often accelerates the blending of elements from diverse cultures, creating new and dynamic syncretic expressions. Migration, colonization, and globalization have contributed to the formation of complex hybrid identities. Individuals and communities navigate their heritage, incorporating elements from multiple cultures into their sense of self. These hybrid identities reflect the intricate interplay between migration-driven diversity, colonial legacies, and contemporary forces of globalization. Throughout history, numerous examples of syncretic expressions have emerged across various cultures. For example, during the Hellenistic period, the blending of Greek, Persian, and Egyptian cultural influences gave rise to a rich and diverse artistic and intellectual movement. In Latin America, the fusion of indigenous beliefs with Spanish Catholicism led to the development of unique religious practices, such as the celebration of the Day of the Dead and Santaria. Day of the Dead as well is something to 
show us how the colonizations and the changes in, in the history of a country may include the new things, but preserving tradition. The art produced during the Gandhara period in ancient India reflects the synthesis of Greek and Buddhist artistic styles. It combines Hellenistic artistic techniques such as realistic human figures with traditional Buddhist symbolism resulting in a unique fusion of cultural elements. Shinwazuri is an artistic style that emerged in Europe in the 17th and 18th centuries. Inspired by Chinese art and design, European artists incorporated Chinese motifs, landscapes, and decorative elements into various art forms such as ceramics, furniture, and textiles. International alliances have the power to influence the political landscapes of participating countries by facilitating the exchange of political ideologies and policy approaches. A notable instance of this dynamic is the expansion of the European Union into Eastern Europe. When countries like Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic joined the EU, they underwent significant political transformations. These nations, formerly governed by communist regimes, adopted market-driven economic policies and embraced democratic governance structures as prerequisites for EU membership. Simultaneously, the EU absorbed new political ideologies and cultural influences from these Eastern European member states, thus reshaping its political landscape and policy direction on a broader scale. In essence, migration, colonization and globalization have all played a pivotal roles in shaping syncretism, fostering the blending of cultural, religious and linguistic elements. Whether through voluntary exchange, forced adaptation or rapid global integration, these processes continue to enrich the global tapestry of all syncretic expressions. <laughs>